Hello everyone. We all like to walk along the ocean. The sea breeze, the waves foaming under your feet, the feeling of harmony and peace. But only if you do not stumble upon an unexploded bomb from the Second World War, the remains of a ghost ship, or the skull of a scary animal. Today, we have collected 15 strange things that were washed up on the shore. Let's go. In Norfolk County, famous for the luxurious residence of the first British Prime Minister, something unusual that did not fit into the exquisite style of the location was found on the coast. There were 328 feet long, huge black pipes with 6.5 feet in diameter. Needless to say, the locals were really shocked when they saw them on the beach. It soon became clear that these huge pipes were manufactured in Norway for a major project in Algeria but during transportation, they disengaged from the main cargo and were thrown out on the coast. The pipes were not a threat to the environment or people, although they spoiled the coastal landscape of the North Sea. However, they immediately became another local landmark. Everyone wanted to take selfies with it. The residents of the island of Langyong in Germany were really surprised by what the North Sea brought them, a few thousand Kinder Eggs plastic containers with the toy inside literally flooded the entire coast. The reason for the unexpected gift from the sea depths was Hurricane Axel, which caused the flood in northern Germany. The cargo ship, which was traveling from China to the German port of Bremerhaven, got in the midst of the hurricane and lost five boxes loaded with Kinder Surprise Eggs. After a while, they were thrown ashore, which caused an incredible ecstasy in children and panic among the environmentalists. The scientists were alarmed because if the toys were to be carried back to the sea, there could be a serious environmental problem. The activists couldn't clean the beach on their own, but as you have probably guessed, the kids and their parents from Langelug were happy to help. After the severe storm near the shores of the British island Lewis and Harris, a huge oil platform appeared. The drilling rig was towed from the coast of Norway to Malta. Amidst the strong wind and stormy waves, the platform weighing 17 tons was torn from the tug and carried to the ocean. Eventually, drifting on the waves, it ran aground right in front of the local cemetery. There were about 74,000 gallons of diesel fuel on this engineering construction. Because of a possible leak and for safety reasons, the area was immediately cordoned off. A whole food fortune appeared on the coast of the Outer Banks Islands, North Carolina. Thousands of packs of Doritos chips with cheese flavor. The tropical storm Ernesto, which struck the coast of the state, knocked a whole container of tasty snacks from the deck of the cargo ship. Of course, the locals instantly cleared the coast of this edible pollution. The Liberian bulk cargo ship going to the North Sea lost 55 containers with the goods during the storm. Boxes with toys, stewed meat, clothes, and shoes crashed from the deck into the sea. Some of them were thrown at the shore of the Dutch island of Terschelling. And in the morning, the local beach was covered with thousands of pairs of sneakers. The main task for those who went for a walk along the coast was finding a suitable pair. Interestingly, earlier several thousand bananas were washed up on two other Dutch islets in the North Sea. The fruit was from the containers that fell into the sea from a cargo ship during the storm. As a result, the coast of the islands of Terschelling and Ameland was covered with these fruits. Unfortunately, the bananas were not ripe yet. In 2011, Due to the tsunami in Japan, the surge of water carried millions of tons of various items and debris out to ocean. During the following years, this debris have washed ashore on the coast of the United States and Canada. So in 2012, a truck body was discovered on the coast of one of the British Columbia Islands after a year of drifting in the ocean. Inside it was a well-preserved Harley-Davidson motorcycle, registered in Miyagi Prefecture. The motorcycle was sent to a specialized repair workshop. At the end of January 2018, after the storm, several tons of garbage were thrown on the Lebanese coast only nine miles from the country's capital, Beirut. This incident almost paralyzed the country's tourism industry. There was a lot of plastic, 
which decomposes for dozens and even hundreds of years. Garbage is a threat to all countries of the Mediterranean coast, and nobody knows where the next portion will come from. These remains of the American fighter P-38 Lightning, widely used by the U.S. Air Force in the 1940s that apparently crashed, were found by people on the beach to the north of Wales. It happened in 2016. The remains of the fighter were covered with mud and rust, but even so, it looked impressive. One morning, the Gravel family was having a rest on the beach of the Welsh port of Barry when they noticed a mysterious object, a huge sphere covered with rust and shells. The adults thought it was the old buoy and allowed the children to play with it. They later found out that the sphere that was so interesting to the kids was an old mine from the times of the Second World War. The parents were horrified because the children were knocking on the metal with their hands and kicking a new toy around. After one of the last launches of the US Falcon 9 launcher, the nose fairing from the second stage of the rocket fell directly to the coast of the island of Abaco, between Cuba and Florida, USA. At the time of the fall, there was no one on the island, so fortunately no one was hurt. The remains of the nose fairing from Falcon 9 were discovered, thanks to special GoPro cameras attached to its outer sides. Despite the hard landing and a long stay in the water, the camera was working. Moreover, it captured the entire process of separation from the rocket, a fall, and a hard landing straight to the beach. The lucky man who managed to find this interesting object was the American Kevin Eichelberger. American Julia Turner and her eight-year-old son found on the shore the remains of a ship from the ancient times when people couldn't even imagine video cameras and rockets. This happened on the beach in St. John's District, Florida, USA. The fragments of a frigate dated back to the 18th century were thrown on the coast. At first, Julia and her son thought that they found a piece of the pier or some old fence, but very soon they realized that these were the remains of a valuable artifact. The case is unique because the fragments of the vessel which history is still unknown, are very well preserved. In November 2015, a rare mollusk, Glaucus atlanticus, washed ashore on the Australian coast. As you know, shellfish of this species do not live near the shore, so most likely this specimen was carried away by the pursuit and could not return to the depth. The blue dragon feeds on several kinds of jellyfish, even poisonous. This mollusk is immune to their poisonous stinging cells. Moreover, the stinging capsules remaining from the jellyfish serve as a protective mechanism for this sea slug. Despite its beauty, the blue dragon is poisonous. The powerful current of El Nino often ravages the California coast, and one day it left an incredible object to the residents of the town of Coronado. Rusted remains of a huge ship were discovered on the sandbar, the wrecked ship was the infamous Monte Carlo liner, which later got the name Sin Ship. In the days of the Prohibition, almost a century ago, a gaming business was flourishing on its board, and rivers of drinks and cocktails didn't run dry. In the 30s, the richest people of America and Europe were partying there. But in 1936, the Sin Ship set out on its last voyage and got into a violent storm and after so many years, what used to be a luxurious liner, or rather its remnants, reached the shore. Walking along the beach, you can come across original sculptures. Of course, they were not washed up by the sea, but all these sculptures were created by the Hungarian artist Thomas Kanya from driftwood found on the coast. The artist and his associates create different types of landscape art. This series of beach sculptures is one of his latest works. One ordinary morning, residents of Paris were extremely shocked when they saw a sperm whale on the banks of the Seine. The length of the whale was at least 30 feet. As it turned out, there was nothing outstanding. The fish thrown ashore was an artistic, very realistic installation. The Dutch art group created a sperm whale named Captain Boomer and brought it to Paris to spread knowledge about these mammals and human impact on their habitat. The art group created a realistic model of a dead whale to draw public attention to the destruction of the ecological system. Earlier, Captain Boomer appeared in other parts of the world. 
For example, not so long ago, the authors made the whale appear on the bank of the Thames. According to eyewitnesses, the artificial sperm whale even smelled like the sea. Well, we've got one last bizarre thing for you. On the beach in Dorset, England, the residents found a huge dragon head. The scary head of the prehistoric raptor had made a big splash when finally everything was examined. The giant skull on the English coast is not at all the remains of the Scottish Nessie, but the advertisement of the next season of the Game of Thrones television series. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and see you soon.